Okay, what we have here is the National Vulnerability Database. So when you look at your hacking toolkit, as we already have, you've seen we found some services. So once you start finding services when you're doing red teaming, you start looking for vulnerabilities. So you find some vulnerability resources, you have vulnerability scanners, but remember we talked about vulnerability scanners are limited when it comes to going through filters and those types of things. So what you do is the National Vulnerability Database, we just go over here and we click on vulnerabilities. This gives you a list of different vulnerabilities, so keyword search. So let's look up Adobe, since that's real popular for people to use. And we do a search, and it will show us all the actual Adobe vulnerabilities. This is the important thing of when you're doing your red teaming. You want to keep a database and know what vulnerabilities. And here we've got one here in Adobe Flash, and this one just came out on June 12th, and it's what we call a CVSS Severity 10. That's the highest, most critical severity, which is good news for us hackers. We want to find high severity critical 10 because that gives us access and it's a critical severity. And you notice it also works against Mac OS's and all kinds of other cool stuff. So again, understand this is the process we go through with our red team environment. We try to identify what services are running using the techniques we've already talked about and will continue to use throughout the CBT. And what you want to do is you want to find vulnerabilities for that. And what do you do with a vulnerability? We're doing red teaming. So our next step is validation of the vulnerability or exploitation. And we love the exploit database for that. So now if I click over here to the exploit database, this is actually based on exploits. So I come up here, you've got MS1309, right? Microsoft Internet Explorer, uh, nice vulnerability that's remote, remote exploit. Java Web, Java Applets, Microsoft Internet Explorer, text mode, use after free. A lot of exploits against different types of software. So this is how we would go look and find our exploits to match the vulnerabilities we discovered with the services that we find while we're doing our red team hacking. And this is the process. And with red teaming, we know exploitation is always allowed, so in most cases it is. We will go and we'll find an exploit and then we'll exploit it using the techniques and the tools we discussed in the hacking toolkit. And this is the demo of vulnerability finding with the National Vulnerability Database and the Exploit Database. These are only two samples. There are many, many, many references out there. And in your environment, you should pick two or three. These are two of the favorites, Exploit Database and National Vulnerability Database. And then from there, develop and build your own repository of vulnerability information to use in your red teaming exercise and your attacks. And this concludes the demo.